Hey Shock Maniacs, the Artie Dance here. Now recently I made a video about a starter guide to Japanese movies. The problem was it's just a fraction too long and I'm thinking I might revisit that, which is the video you're watching right now, so that we can have a bit more of a condensed look at kind of like a starter guide to Japanese horror cinema. So this video is not only going to contain all the movies that we talked about in the longer video, but also a couple of other ones that have come to light since that video was published. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this quick guide, starter guide to Japanese horror cinema. So we'll get the big one out of the way first, and that would be The Ring. This is probably the quintessential Japanese J-horror film. Everyone knows The Ring, and of course, it's probably one of the first J-horror movies that you should watch. Now, there are at least nine movies in this series. There's also a prequel to The Ring called Ryzen. Pretty much all of the early ones are worth watching. It's when you start getting into the more 3D movies and the versus movies that you've got to kind of stop and think, hmm, am I actually going to get something out of this series? On a side note, the latest in the series, Sadako DX, released back in 2022, it's actually a bit of fun, so I would give that a watch. The next movie series everyone's going to tell you to watch is obviously the Ju-On series. Now, there are around eight movies in this series, including the first two called The Curse and the ones that are probably more well-known in The Grudge films. Now, there's a big gap between when The Grudge 2 was released and the next movie, which is called Black Ghost. And there's also a versus title with Sadako, which is not kind of counted under the Ju On series. And like The Ring, there was also an American remake of this film. So if you feel like you can't get into the Japanese version, you can give the American one a try, but just bear in mind it's not the original. Dark Water is the third of the big Japanese J-horror films that you must watch. Now, this one is from 2002 and is directed by Hideo Nakata, who was the director of one of the first Ring movies. Like the previous two titles that we've talked about, Dark Water also has a US remake, but it's worth checking out the Japanese original as it is a very eerie and spooky movie and will leave you with a lot of questions that you'll be desperate to get answers to. Highly recommended this one. Now it's debatable whether you want to call this one a horror movie or an action thriller, but I would definitely class this as a horror movie and I think a lot of others would. And that is Battle Royale. This is the movie that started the whole Battle Royale movement in modern cinema, although clearly not the first movie of its type. Now this movie is very highly influential. It's all over pop culture and it's definitely one of those films that you should watch. Now bear in mind it is super violent. Even when you look at it with a modern lens, the ideas behind it, very gory. I think this is a J-horror must-watch. Without a doubt, one of the most fun movies that you will watch that's featured on this list, One Cut of the Dead is a unique style of Japanese film, at least in my opinion, as the first 30-odd minutes is one continuous long take. In the end, this ends up being quite a charming zombie movie that turns into a story about a director and his family who are tasked with creating a live-to-air zombie program. This movie is well received. However, I've heard bad things about the French remake, so be careful if you decide to watch that one. Now, this is a very well-loved movie. However, by my standards, I'm not rating this as high. It's making this list because of its status within the J-horror community, and that is Pulse. Personally, I don't think this movie has aged quite as well as what everyone else would make you believe, but there are some strong themes behind this film, specifically themes to do with loneliness and, of course, finding solace on the internet. I think this is one of those movies that you'll either really love or really dislike. I don't think there's a middle ground for Pulse, but check it out if you can. A personal favourite, but I also think an essential must-watch, is this classic Japanese J-horror anthology from the 60s called Kwaidan. There are four folklore tales in this movie. It's about three hours long, so each tale gets at least 45 minutes to express itself, and it is fantastic. There are some real creative visuals in this movie. Some quite clever special effects for the time, but impressively enough, it's the sets that are used in the movie. There's a lot of colour and a lot of life in this film. Now, my favourite tale of the lot is Hoichi the Earless, but I don't think you can go wrong with any of the tales in this film. This is well worth it if you want to watch a classic Japanese horror film and also understand a bit of Japanese folklore. 
Now, if you want gore without being too silly, then I would definitely recommend this 1987 cult classic, The Evil Dead Trap, followed up a few years later by a sequel called Evil Dead Trap 2 Hideki. The original movie is the one that you want to hunt down and watch. This is essentially about a reporter who follows up a lead about a snuff tape that she's given and she ends up at this old abandoned US military base where she comes face to face with the killer who sent her the tape. This is a mixture of sleaze and gore. So if that's your thing, this one is a definite must watch. Now, if you're looking for a movie that's going to completely mess with your head, and you also like haunted house films, then I would definitely recommend this 1977 cult classic, House. This is one of those movies that's well talked about and well loved in J-horror circles. So that's one of the reasons why you need to make this one of your must watch movies. Essentially, seven schoolgirls go to this house that belongs to one of their aunts who lives with this strange, psychotic, white, fluffy cat. And well, as you can imagine, all these really unusual things begin to happen. This movie mixes some psychedelic and crazy special effects and a storyline that's not particularly strong, but still captivating enough to keep your interest. This movie definitely relies on its wackiness and its silliness to keep you going, but it is definitely a must watch. This is a strange one. It's called The Chasing World. Now, it's similar to Battle Royale and similar to Sion Sono's tag. And it's about the mysterious deaths and disappearance of everyone with a surname of Sato. Um, And it also explores parallel worlds. Now, this is a series of films. There are five in The Chasing World ones. But, you know, as an entry point, watch the first one. One Missed Call is a classic Mikkei film about people who receive a phone call with details of their death with the hook that the calls all use this same haunting ringtone. Personally, I would avoid the sequels as they're a bit of junk and also be cautious with the US remake of the title. Tomie is a well-loved series of films. There are a lot of fans out there of these Tomie titles. Now, there are also a lot of movies in this series, so it's best to check online which ones to get started with and to go from there. Uzumaki, or Spiral as it's known in English, is a decent manga adaptation of the Junjo Ito series. Now, people tended to be very negative about this film's ending as it differs from the manga series itself, but that's because the manga's ending wasn't written when the film was made. Psychic Vision is an interesting film from the guy considered the grandfather of J-horror movies in Teroyoshi Ishii, uh, who burst into the scene and then kind of faded away. It's a relatively shortish film. It's just on 60 odd minutes long and it can be found complete and uncut on YouTube. For the gore hounds, Tokyo Gore Police is fabulous for those wanting to explore the splatter and gore genre. It mixes some ridiculous sci-fi moments and styles, and it never takes itself very seriously. Some very inventive visual effects and costumes in this one, well worth checking out. And finally, lastly on our list of recommendations is another classic, it's Onibaba. This one's about two women, a daughter and her mother-in-law, who are waiting for the return of her husband. Unfortunately, he never comes back, but another man does, who knows their husband and begins to have an affair with both the mother and the daughter. Now, in comes this interesting mask that turns the two women against each other, and what you end up with is a Japanese classic. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching this more condensed version of a bit of a starter guide to Japanese horror movies. Now, what have I missed? What have you watched? And which ones did you enjoy? And this guarantee you there's things that I've missed off the top of my head. I can't think of them. Oh, Norio the Curse. Uh, a lot of people seem to like that film. Um, didn't include it in this video. But really, what are some of the other titles that you would recommend someone else who's coming to watch this video, who's now looking in the comments section below for some more recommendations? Don't forget to fill it out with your recommendations. I've been the Arty Dent. You're watching Shock Mania. Press like if you've enjoyed this video. Press dislike if you didn't enjoy this video. Subscribe and I will catch you next time. Thank you.